Yo guys, what's up? This is Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So not every mobile game performs the same on every mobile device. And that's simply because some games are just better optimized for some devices. However, we can mitigate this performance gap by using an app called GeoTools. Now GeoTools allows you to do some really cool things such as reduce rendering resolution, optimize shaders, and even emulate other graphics processing units. It's a really cool and powerful app, but you will need to have rooted in your device in order to use it. So let's check it out. All right, guys. So the app is called GL Tools and is available for $2.99 within the Google Play Store. But I highly recommend buying it because it's a really good app and it's really, really useful. Okay, so when you open up GL Tools, you can choose to configure the system wide um, graphic settings or you can do it on a per app basis. Now, I highly recommend that you do it on a per app basis just because if you set the setting to, let's just say, you emulate your graphics card to be a Tegra device, and you have games on there that do not work with Tegra devices, then you're gonna get a lot of force closes. So let's just do it on a per app basis. So GeoTools allows you to do many things. You can emulate other graphics sockets, you can lower render resolutions, and you can even choose to decompress or uh, recompress textures. So let's start with the top. So first you have anti-aliasing, which you can go and you can change to, um, right now is on default, defined by the app. Some apps have it on by four, some apps have it by 16. It depends on the app. Honestly, changing this, I really don't notice any uh, noticeable difference. Uh, there might be in some games, but I changed this and played around with this and there's really no noticeable difference. So I just keep that on by default. Now you can also choose to lower the render resolution. Right now I have lowered to um, by five, but I'm gonna disable it for now, just so you can see what it looks like before these changes happen. And 16 bit rendering which you can also choose to uh, increase performance and optimizing the shaders, or unselect that. And I'm just unselecting these just so you can see what it looks like before I do this. Texture, decompression, and recompression. Like I said, uh, recompressing textures will actually help with performance uh, and downscaling textures. FPS counter, which I really love, how you actually have an on-screen FPS counter. I'll keep that there. And finally, you can use the fake GPU and CPU information. So if I choose fake GPU, I can choose to emulate different GPUs, so Tegra 4, Tegra 3, Tegra 2, Adreno, uh, the Mali, and S SGX GPU. But for now, let's actually deselect that. Alright, so let's demonstrate this app using GL Tools. Now, I'm not going to make any changes, but I am going to enable custom settings and turn on a FPS counter, just so we can see FPS without making any modifications. So the reason I chose Grand Theft Auto Vice City to demonstrate how you can increase performance using GL Tools is because Grand Theft Auto Vice City is notorious for its lag in practically any phone. So before we start, I just want to go over here to the options and let's go to display. I have the draw distance turned all the way up to 90%, screen resolution to 100%, I have the visual effects on max, dynamic shadows on, and I also turn off a uh, frame limiter so that we're not capped at 30 FPS. So this is pretty much on all the way, and in fact, I even turned draw distance to 100%. So we're right now pretty much on the max settings you can get on uh, GTA Vice City. So let's go back and let's actually start the game and see the performance without making any changes within GL Tools. Pay attention to the FPS in the screen. Right now I'm around a little less than 30. And as you can see as I'm driving around in vehicles, I'm now a little less than 20 FPS. And I'm trying to see how much I can just really, how well I can get this. Alright, so after playing this for a while, I still consistently have definitely below 30 and occasionally below 20 FPS. So now let's actually go back and try increasing the performance of this game. Now, of course, the obvious thing to do would be to lower all the graphic details and stuff like that, but what if I don't want to do that? What if I actually want to do it through GL Tools? There is a way. Alright, what I'm going to do is first make sure GTA Vice City is closed out of memory. Let's open up GL Tools. Now, what I'm going to do is enable four 16 bit rendering. Optimize GL shaders, and I'm going to lower the render resolution to 0.5. And everything else I'm going to keep the same. I'm not really going to touch the textures. So now let's go back and open up GTA Vice City and see what we get. Look at the FPS. Right now, we're pretty much touching 60. Now, I don't know how we can see us through the camera. It's actually not as sharp as what it was. Not that it's really unenjoyable, you can, I can still kind of see the graphics and stuff like that. And really right now I'm actually speeding through the street and nothing like there's really no lag in this which I'm pretty surprised. Alright, so as you see right now we are still really high with FPS. Lowering the rendering resolution and 14-16 bit rendering 
optimizing your shaders really helped with this. So guys, that has been a look at the app GeoTools. It's a very powerful app and I only explored one feature of it using it in the sense of increasing performance. However, this app can also be used to emulate tech or games, which I hope to show in the future. But if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below about what you think. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.